Hello everyone, I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome to my channel. So, I realized it's been a while since we just kind of went birding together, and so I figured I would show you around uh, one of the spots near my house that I like to come and bird, the Broderick Boat Launch. Um, this is a park owned and operated by Yolo County, so it's a Yolo County Park. And it's a nice kind of combination. It's got river access, obviously, with the boat launch. And it's also got a nice little loop of trail uh, that goes around some habitat, uh, sort of oak woodland, little grassy habitat, some little ponds. Uh, so yeah, let's go see around, let's walk around and see what we can find. A whole bunch of yellow-billed magpies calling up on the top of these trees. Great California endemic. An endemic species is one that's found in one location and nowhere else on Earth. So yellow-billed magpies are found in California and nowhere else on the planet. So this is the boat launch. There's a magpie. <laughs> so yeah, this is the boat launch. This is the Sacramento River right here. And across the river is the city of Sacramento. So it's winter right now. Water level is fairly high. It's a fair bit of water coming down this river at the moment. There is the city of Sacramento, Sacramento skyline. And that is upstream towards the confluence of the Sacramento and American rivers, which we'll be getting to in a minute. The trail system leads up that way. There are three yellow-billed magpies and more in the trees above me. There they go.
So this is what a lot of the habitat looks like. It's winter time, so all of these uh, trees, a lot of them are valley live oaks. There's some cottonwoods sprinkled in here. Um, they've all lost their leaves. They're deciduous. But you can see it's sort of open woodland kind of habitat. And as I pan back to where I started, out over on the edge there of the park is where the river is. So as you go out one side of the trail, you come to where the walking trail up here is kind of above the edge of this low area down here. The trails don't go through this low area. And it's actually kind of an interesting spot because it is low enough that when it rains a lot or when the river levels really rise, this actually floods. This becomes a, a flooded um, spillway or catchment area for some extra water. And it can be some really interesting habitats. Uh, one of the things that I've seen come in here a lot when it does flood up is wood ducks just love it in here and it just gets some really cool habitat and so it's there kind of waiting for those high rain events high flood events to flood this area up but the trail goes this way we'll keep going this way Two American crows. There are lots of them around here. There are some night roosts that have big groups of crows that spend the night there, especially in the wintertime. And then in the mornings, these birds, there's one or two more. In the mornings, these birds all disperse out from these very concentrated night roosts where they all group together and they spread out across the cities and farmlands uh, in the area. And then as evening comes on, they reverse it and they all gather back in to those night roosts. Some mallards hanging out down there in the pond. This pond is the sort of northwestern edge, northwestern corner of the park, and therefore the northwestern corner of the trail. So one of the issues with this park is there's quite a population of feral cats that live here. And they are tucked up in the bushes. There's quite, quite a healthy population. And they are supported by people who come and feed them. Here, let me show you what I mean. See all these plates on the ground here? are all dishes that people come and leave cat food out for the cats. But of course, feral cats eat a lot of birds. They are pretty damaging to the environment. So unfortunately, this is, this is not great. It'd be great if these cats could find better homes. You can see there's one in the bushes here. And actually, I can see about three from where I'm standing.
and then you come out sort of the northern tip of the trail system here you come out right at the confluence of the American and Sacramento rivers and the sun is just rising it's beautiful right now mist on the water pretty cool pretty special spot so looking across the river from where I'm standing you can see that bridge over there and that bridge uh, is where the American River comes in and this body of water going that way is going upstream up the Sacramento River so you can see that kind of point of land right out there that's right where the two rivers join together the two biggest rivers in California So the trail leads back. Now we're heading basically south along the edge of the Sacramento River. The sun rising over downtown Sacramento. And an Anna's hummingbird flying overhead. And yeah, this trail basically leads straight along the riverbank down back to where the park where the cars are parked. So we'll just follow it all the way back on down. Great blue heron flying out. And Canada geese yelling from across the way. Double crested cormorant out in the water. Fishing in the Sacramento. And there it goes. Good morning to you too. Well, I'm just about back to the cars uh, after sort of doing this loop around the Broderick Boat Launch Park. And I just wanted to take a moment here at the end to kind of mark an occasion. Uh, this is about a one year anniversary for this YouTube channel. So to the 90 something people who have subscribed, thank you very much for the subscriptions. Uh, I think it's amazing that almost 100 people are uh, following this channel now. So I'm pretty excited about that. Definitely have plans for this next year, uh, one of which being a better camera is high on my list. And lots of, lots of interesting, cool videos to come. So, I hope that you continue to subscribe. I hope you continue to view these videos. I hope that if you haven't subscribed, you join us. And yeah, let's see what, uh, let's see what 2022 has to offer in this next year of this YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this spot. It's a really interesting place to come and visit. And thank you very much for the view. And until next time, enjoy the natural world.